welcome back now in this third part we are going to study about the most important point in this chapter that is the equation of tangents we are also going to study that how a straight line can interact with the curve that is the ellipse and what are the different conditions we are also going to derive condition of tangents in this part so let's start position of a line with respect to ellipse now again we have seen that uh, different curves and line can interact in a different manners for example a straight line can be a tangent to the curve can be a chord to the curve or they may not interact so let's start by looking at what cases are there the first case is when the line intersect the curve at two points so that is called a chord now the second case can be when the line just touches the circle and leaves we know this case is a tangent third case can be where a line neither touches nor intersects so this is first case second case third case in the first case the line is a chord to the curve in second case the line is simply a tangent in the third case the line is a nothing or they are not interaction so nothing means it's neither a chord nor a tangent that means that it's not interacting now how can we find out that mathematically a line is what to the curve out of these three cases how can we mathematically prove that a line is either chord or tangent or it's not interacting let's say that we have the curve or the equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equals to 1 and let's say that we have a variable line that y is equals to mx plus c in order to find out that how the line and the curve are interacting we need to put the equation of line in the curve and we need to solve how so let's start this analysis so if i put the value of straight line in the curve then i will get x square by a square plus y square instead of y i am putting the equation of line that is mx plus c square divided by b square is equals to 1 if i take the lcm and if i simplify then i'm going to get b square x square plus a square m square x square plus 2a square m c x plus a square c square z equals to a square b square So I've done nothing. I have just taken the LCM and I have opened this whole square and I am trying to solve it to get the red. Now I can clearly see that this equation is a quadratic in x. It's a quadratic in m as well. So if it's a quadratic in x, then what do this quadratic in x means? Is that now whatever number of solution this equation gives us, that means that are the that are those possible values of x. for those values of x we can get corresponding values of y so either we can get no value of x one value of x or two value of x now with respect to that value of x we can get y that means number of values of x that we can get here is actually the number of coordinates on which the line and point are interacting if i simplify this then i am collecting the coefficient then b square plus a square m square of x square plus 2a square m c x plus a square of c square minus b square is equals to 0 now this is the quadratic equation that we were talking about now what we need to do is that if the discriminant of this equation is greater than 0 what does this mean this means that we have two value of x two values of x that means we have two solutions or the curve is interacting with line at two points two points that means it's a chord these are those two points so in this by this method you can also get those two points as well specifically that at what are those points in which the line and the curve are intersecting second case is d equals to 0 that means the line touches the curve at one point only so if this is your curve then this is the this is the interaction that means in this case only one value that means one solution or this case tells us that the line is a tangent 
If the line and cut do not touch or intersect at any of the point, that means D is less than 0 or they don't have any common solution. No common solution. That means the line is neither intersecting and it's not touching. So this is the analysis that you can do with the help of these two points. Let's move 